much. What? To find the relative major if you're in a minor key. Okay, these are the rules. You go up a minor third and that's your major key. Boom. Super simple, super easy to figure out. That's your that's your major key. So if I'm in G minor, I go up a minor third and there it is. There is my major key. I'm technically in the same exact key. technically in the same key using the same exact notes but I'm, I have a different starting point I, I want to kind of drill this in only because it's so so super important be, is because when I found this out and figured this out it became like a light bulb and so many other things started connecting together I realized I had so many more relatives <laughs> than I thought right in context if you if you understand what I'm saying so I had that that key has so many more relative keys Right. Not just a relative major. I can have a relative Dorian. I can have a relative Phrygian. I can have a relative, you know, Lydian key. You know what I mean? So all of these, it started making sense when I said, OK, why? Why just have the relative major, relative minor? The other scales can actually come inside of that and be relatives or distant cousins as well, like even melodic minor modes and things are scales like that. So when I started thinking about it that way, it opened up so many doors and open up so many things and enlighten me uh, to the point where I just had to figure out and had to find out more. Where was I? Oh, opposite. If I'm in a major key to find the relative minor. Okay. Be listening. If I'm in a major key to find the relative minor, go to the sixth note of that scale, or you can just go the opposite way. You can go down a minor third. Right. You can go down a whole step plus a half step to find that key. OK, so we already know it was B flat. That was a relative major. So this is our major key. If we want to find the relative minor key. We go down whole step, half step or we go down a minor third or we play the sixth note of that scale. Same exact note. Right. Just an easy way to find it. I found those little tricks and those little. Uh, Hacks, if you will, to, to figure this stuff stuff out pretty quickly um, so you can move fluently across the fretboard when you're thinking and playing in real time. That's super, super important to understand and to have and to know like these little different tricks to help you guide to help guide you that much more, that much quicker and more efficient while you're playing real time. And I know that's most times everybody's goal is to be able to be fluent, you know, while you're playing and just not really have to think at all. But the, the reality is you really do have to think, but you have, just have to be prepared. Have these little nuggets in, in place to know, okay, it, there's an easy way to find this note, find this key, and boom, I'm there. I, I, I know what that interval is, or I know how to find this relative major, or I know you know the distance between this note. You get it, right? So that's the key. That's the, that's the format. So anyway.